Greetings, grade 6 students. Welcome to our online English class. Today, it's grammar. And for today's lesson, we will be focusing on quotations and quotation marks. Before we begin, I'd like you to have with you your Reader's and Writer's English textbook, English copybook, as well as your pen. Another reminder, before answering all the pages related to these lessons, it is a must that you need to watch fully and completely the video and other links related to it. Thank you so much. For our objectives, we will define quotation and quotation marks through examples, define direct and indirect quotation through examples, identify and correctly use the mechanics of punctuation, and add quotation marks to given exercises. Let's define and explore. A direct quotation is a report of the exact words of an author or speaker and is placed inside quotation marks in a written work. For example, Dr. King said, I have a dream. As you noticed, before the I, there is a quotation mark, and after the period, there is the closing quotation marks. Indirect quotations is when the meaning but not the exact words of something someone spoke is referred to. Quotation marks are not used with indirect quotations. I'm going to repeat that line. Quotation marks are not used with indirect quotations. Indirect quotations frequently begin with that or if. They may have no relative pronoun or subordinating conjunction introducing them. A direct quote or direct quotation is the exact words taken from an original source and used in a second piece of writing. An indirect quote or indirect quotation is the idea or fact taken from an outside source and used in a second piece of writing. The use of borrowed ideas, works, phrases, and sometimes sentences as they appear in the original source is called the direct quotation. Reasons to direct quote, we have accuracy, authority, conciseness, and vividness. Accuracy when the precise language of the original is important. Authority when the exact words of a writer or speaker carry more weight than a summary as in the person is important. Conciseness, when a quotation states an idea in fewer words than in a summary would require. Vividness, when the language of the source is more colorful or more descriptive than in a summary would be. That's direct quotation. Those are the possible reasons to direct a quote. That's for direct quotation. What about in indirect quotes? Information from a source which is not made up of speaker's exact words is not placed inside quotation marks. This is an indirect quote which is a paraphrase or a summary of the meaning of the direct quotation. Indirect quotes are used to express a fact stated by the source, clarify a quote that is too long, confusing, or dull, or condense the ideas of several direct quotes. That's indirect quotes. Quotation marks. Quotation marks form a neat little bracket around the exact words that someone has said. Look at the example below. Quotation mark. Run, run as fast as you can. You can catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Exclamation and quotation mark. You notice the position. When are we supposed to place the closing quotation? It's normally after the end mark. Confusion can occur when you try to figure out where to place the other punctuation marks. When a quotation is introduced, the comma goes outside the quotation marks. Look at the example below. The gingerbread man said, you can catch me. The, to close a quotation, the comma goes inside. 
You can catch me, said the ginger man. They are the same. These rules also apply to longer quotations that are split into two. Look at example. Run as fast as you like, said the gingerbread man, but you can catch me. Try to notice the opening quotation as well as the closing quotation's position in every sentence. This is a must. Provided they're part of the quotation, question marks and exclamation points always go inside. Look at the example. The gingerbread, gingerbread man said, you can catch me. Look at the position of the exclamation point as well as the closing quotation marks. Question marks and exclamation points go inside if they're not part of the quotation. Did the gingerbread bread oh uh, no did the gingerbread man really say you can catch me this last example is completely different with the first example on the uh, above because of the different situations and conditions quotation marks are also used around the names of short artistic works like poems or songs one example is the ballad of the gingerbread man now, this is our activity. Try to make a guess. This life fact said, why should I bother to catch you? Correct or wrong? Good job. Excellent job. Keep up the good work, grade 6 students. For the next slides, they are the same thing. They are all activities. And I'd like you to see them and read them one by one and answer them. Try to test your skills and abilities. This way, you can see if you are really learning and understanding our main lesson for today. One final thing, always capitalize the first word of the person's exact words. Look at example, Fox thought to himself that gingerbread man would be good to eat. For other activities and resources related to these lessons, I'd like you to follow this link below which I'm going to provide you in the WhatsApp group as well. Secondly, Start answering your RWN pages 421 and 428. Again, I repeat, try to copy, try to write neatly and legibly. That's it for this day, grade 6 students, and thank you for joining with me today. It's my pleasure to be of your service. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and see you again tomorrow.